The following program is a paid advertisement sponsored by the Home Businesses of America Conferences. He's excited seeing, you know, as the checks are coming in and our business is growing, uh, he's as much excited about the business as I am. They might want to pick up $500 a month, okay? Great. There's other people uh, that might want to pick up 2000 there's other people that might want to take it to a limit, you know, uh, 10, 15, 20,000 a month is not out of the realm. This business allows you to make money when you want to make money, it allows you to work when you want to work, and it allows you to grow as big as you want to grow. Hello, I'm Mark Erickson. And I'm Jody Brandon. Welcome to the Home Business Network. Today you're going to hear from people who have decided to secure their financial future by starting their own home businesses. People like this. A job is nothing more than just over broke. And, and going into a home business I think is a, a real good way to achieve, achieve a level of comfort for your family that otherwise you wouldn't have. Within the last month I'd say I've literally tripled the amount of money I've made. Um, and that is continuing to escalate daily. You know, and I'm not knocking people. Uh, that want to get out there and, and, and work that 40-hour grind, hey, go for it, you know? I want something more. Just a short while ago, these people were unsure about the future, caught in dead-end, low-paying jobs, worried about layoffs and unemployment lines. Well, during this show, you're going to meet people who at one time were in a position that you might find yourself in right now. You might be in a company that may be downsizing any minute, or you might be caught in a low-paying job with no room for advancement, when maybe just as little as an extra $500 to $600 a week could help you make ends meet more comfortably. Operating your own home business might be the answer. The statistics on home businesses in America today are quite impressive and prove that it works. For example, a new home business begins somewhere in America every 10 seconds. And the United States Census Bureau now tells us that this year alone, about 43% of U.S. households will have some kind of full or part-time office that will be generating money. And generate money it does. The average pre-tax income for home business people this year was $55,000. So you see, running a home-based business is proving to be America's future. You know, Mark, recently I've had the pleasure of visiting with a number of people who are part of that future. They say that once you've tried a home business, you'll never want to work for anyone else ever again. Debbie, tell us what your life was like before you got interested in your own home business. As far as job security, uh, careers, it was unstable. Um, and not real happy with what was happening uh, in my career, changing jobs for quite a bit, and just decided that I wanted to work for myself and not answer to anybody any longer. I worked a lot of hours. I used to work side jobs on Sundays to supplement my income. A lot and, of physical uh, work. Yeah, and I just knew that uh, after I got out of college that this just can't be forever. And so I decided that I would get involved in the program and. Uh, it's real, and I'm now I'm reaping the benefits. So you were looking for something to secure your future as well. Something e exactly. We're making more money now with, with less hours. I mean, you know, my kids now walk in and they call me dad instead of, hey, you. You know, uh, you, work, you work 18 hours a day, 20 hours a day, uh, seven days a week. Uh, and it's really not worth it, you know, to put in that kind of effort. It's all what you want, you know. It's strictly if you want to be successful and you want to live that way, you want to have nice things, mm -hmm. it's out there. Our security is the main thing, I think. Security, and, and you don't know what the, uh, the outcome's going to be in the future as far as our economic situation. I mean, look around. There's these big companies that have been successful and secure for 10, 20, 30, 40 years are now laying off tens of thousands of people. If you want to be another statistic, then go ahead and invest your future into these companies because chances are, eventually, It'll happen to you. You know, Jody, there's a sense out there in America today that the rules of the game have changed. A college education is no longer a guarantee to a secure, high-paying job. For instance, how many college graduates do you know who are driving cabs or working as bartenders or cocktail waitresses? And blue-collar workers are suffering the same fate. In the 1980s, more than 10 million factory workers lost their jobs. Only three out of five of them found other work, and usually for less pay. You know, by the way, Jody, those of you who have college degrees and careers that are no longer viable, you might look into home business as a shorter, more realistic alternative. You know, it is painfully clear now that we can't depend on anybody but ourselves to secure financial independence. Recently, I had the pleasure of talking with some of the leading experts in the field of home business. They agree. 
that the old days of relying on corporations and big business to supply jobs are gone forever. You know, the thing is, uh, Paul, a lot of people think that, uh, gee, you know, I can't get into home business. It's kind of scary. We're socialized from the beginning, from school, to go out and get a job, get a nice job, and then it'll take care of us for the rest of our lives. That isn't the case anymore, is it? No, it's unfortunate that the way a lot of people were raised, they thought if you go to work for corporate America, you'll stay with corporate America for 30 years, you'll retire for a nice, with a nice pension, and everything will be wonderful. As we all know, that's not the case today. It doesn't work that way. There are mergers, people are bought out, companies go broke, all sorts of things happen. You don't have that kind of security anymore. So people have to learn to depend upon themselves. And that's one of the reasons that the home business has grown so dramatically is because people are looking for a way to be self-secure, to take care of their own future. I find that people, once they've gotten the entrepreneurial bug and they've actually had a taste of being able to dictate their own income, to be able to do what they want to do to follow their dreams and to be able to decide what paths and lives they're going to follow. You'll never go back to having someone else tell you how much you're worth and what you will do day in and day out. There's just no way. I of started my business about six weeks ago. I've made $4,000 and hopefully within a year estimated $50,000. You make for them, the company, you still get the same pay. But it's not the case in home business, is it, Lance? Not at all. The neat thing about home business is that whatever effort you put in, you're going to get those results back to you and not to the person you work for. So you're going to sink or swim by yourself. And the neat thing about these home business conferences is they've seen all the businesses, they've looked at hundreds of them, and they picked out the ones that they know work. I've made as much as $2,700 a week and I'm not even a college graduate. Proven techniques and become successful and become in control of their own destiny and see those results. That's what's so exciting. If you spend half the time at your home business that you're spending at your job and put, you know, the energy in there, you're going to find out that your success, the dollar amount, can be double or triple because all the overhead is gone. You're working out of your home. I was able to get my earnings up to now $16,000 a month, and I hope before too long, at the end of the year, to be up around 60000 a month. You've made that money for yourself and probably double. A lot of these people, don't, they don't realize how hard, they realize how hard they work, but they don't realize how much money they're actually making for their bosses. They've got to turn around and look and look at some of the cars and the homes they have. They've got the ability to do it. They've just got to turn it around and start doing it for themselves instead of for someone else. The opportunity's out there. you just got to grasp it. Mark, you know, it's becoming very clear that the only one you can depend upon in these uncertain economic times is yourself. You know, that's why the future of home business is here to stay. We're going to take a break right now, so don't change that channel because you're going to learn things about the home business world that might just better your life beyond your wildest imagination. This recession in particular is a wake-up call to people to realize that you can't rely on the IBMs for stable jobs or the federal government for ever-ending entitlements, that people are going to have to create their own future, their own jobs, whether within a company or creating your own job out of a company. That's what the new economy requires. I've been laid off twice from two major banks because of the finance field, and I'm to the point where I don't want the stress and the long hours anymore unless it's for myself and my own benefit. I looked at these home businesses for some time, um, and I've met a lot of people that have made a lot of money in a very short period of time and have actually retired in as little as five years. Uh, I've been doing it for about eight months and it just keeps on growing. By the end of this summer, I'm going to completely be able to quit my previous career, which is computer software. Looking for part of full-time income or actual wealth building? Well, the Home Businesses of America Conference is coming to your area this week to help you achieve your goals. Space is limited, so please call the 800 number on your screen for advanced reservations. Call now and as a special bonus for those of you that pre-register for this exciting immediate money-making conference, the Home Businesses of America Conference will give you absolutely free a complete home business startup kit containing information on the most profitable businesses, government grant and loan programs with listings of funds available for the new and established small business person, a complete guide to starting home businesses, tax tips for home businesses, and how to get write-offs for the use of your home, a $50 value absolutely free. Make the time to attend this conference. Even if you don't feel your income is being threatened, you should be aware of what so many Americans are doing today to secure their financial futures right from their own homes. To reserve your seats at the Home Business Opportunities Conference for you and a guest, get a pen and paper and write down the following registration information. Don't miss this opportunity. It could change your life. Here's how to register. Attend the Free Home Business of America Conference in your area on Tuesday, December 3rd at 12 noon and 6 p.m. in Elizabeth, New Jersey at the Holiday Inn Jetport, Route 19 North to the Spring Street exit. 
on Wednesday, December 4th at 12 noon and 6 p.m. in New York, New York, at the New York's Hotel Pennsylvania, opposite Penn Station and Madison Square Garden. On Thursday, December 5th at 12 noon and 6 p.m. in Hawpog, New York, at the Radisson Hotel Islandia, I-495 Long Island Expressway to exit number 58. On Friday, December 6th at 12 noon and 6 p.m. in Tarrytown, New York, at the Tarrytown Hilton, I-87 to exit number 9. On Saturday, December 7th at 8.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. in New York, New York, at the Crown Plaza Manhattan, on Broadway between 48th and 49th Street. And on Sunday, December 8th at 8.30 a.m. and 3 p.m. in Secaucus, New Jersey, at the Meadowlands Hilton, State Road 3 East to the Meadowlands Parkway exit. Don't be left out. Call toll-free for reservations, 1-800-358-0120. Welcome back. You know, Jody, many people feel that they have to have special skills or abilities to operate a home business, but really, that couldn't be further from the truth. Mark, that's absolutely right. During my talk with a group of successful home business owners, I found that they were just average people who had one thing in common, the hunger for something better in their lives. Does it take a special type of person to have your own home business? Have you guys had formal education, or do you need it? Do you need extensive training? I mean, what kind of uh, skills does it take? I think it's just, uh, you know, desire, uh, the willingness to want to change, uh, the willingness to want something better. You know, you talked about what kind of life did you have before, what life? You've got to want success, whatever your level of success is. I think also you need to look at your, your qualities. You know, if um, you may not be good in certain areas, find out where you are good. You know, you don't need to go through college, there's different kind of training things that you can go through that are free. I think college is a big myth, personally. I think uh, people waste a, a major part of their life, five, six years, invested in the college only to find that when they get out, they have a certificate and they're standing in the unemployment line. Like I say, you could take that time and invest it into something that would be more productive. Learning your skills. Learning your own skills and, right. and seeking other opportunities that's going to make you money now instead of hoping that you make money in the future. There's so many opportunities out there now that are currently working why invest yourself, your time into something that uh, you're uncertain what the outcome is going to be? Just a, just a tag on what Greg was saying there. Uh, you see so often the people that do graduate from a four-year uh, program or graduate degree, uh, they never generally have the opportunity to utilize what they went to school for. You can spend years and years working for other companies only to find that if you're out of work for two weeks, now what? You're looking for that paycheck, it's not there. This business allows you to make money when you want to make money. It allows you to work when you want to work. And it allows you to grow as big as you want to grow. It's nice to see someone facing the future with confidence for a change, instead of worrying where the next rent check is coming from. You know, you can really tell that these people are not afraid of the future, but they're actually looking forward to it. The home business experts I talked with agree that you don't need any special skills to operate a home business. All you need is an idea or even a dream or a desire to simply make more money. Well, uh, what, what about special skills? I mean, uh, people say, gee, you know, I really didn't, uh, I didn't go to college. Uh, I don't have any special skills. Uh, if someone asks though? me, do you, have, do you need any special skills, my response is, can you talk to people? Can you say hello? How are you? Can you introduce yourself? Can you say, gee, I just saw a movie and it was really a great movie. You ought to go see it. Can you do that kind of thing with someone? If you can do that, you can do a home business. And there are businesses where there's a lot of people that have a fear, you know, having to confront somebody one-on-one. -on -one. And there's a lot of those people out there, too. And there's a lot of businesses that are out there that we teach on that you don't really even have to come in contact with anybody out there. You know, these there are businesses that you can run from home whereby as long as you can talk on a telephone, you never have to see anyone, and you can make some good monies out of your home. There are My current income is a five-figure income on a yearly basis. <laughs> Working out of my home. You have to have strangers come into your house. That's not what home business means at all. It means running it from your home and doing pretty much everything over the phone, fax machines, things that you can do, you know, in your pajamas if you want it. <laughs> we project that in the next well, year, we will be grossing at least $75,000 a year. Get involved into a home business if they really put their uh, mind to it. Absolutely. I, I really believe that, and I've seen that happen. I'm, I'm a good example of that. Um, if I continue on the course that I'm going, $50,000 a year on a part-time business is extremely viable. Simple. That doesn't necessarily mean it's easy, 
but what that amounts to is that an individual's desire to have a successful business oftentimes is the most significant capital that they bring to bear. Here's a startling statistic. Did you know that two in every five workers describe their jobs as very or extremely stressful, with 35% actually thinking about quitting? But for home business owners, it's a completely different story. In a recent survey, 96% said they would recommend working at home. Many of the home business owners I talked with say it's like a big weight that's been lifted off their shoulders, and they have found peace of mind. Well, I know for myself, Jody, I was real interested in being at home more. Um, I have two teenagers, and I thought I need to do something else and supplement my income. Um, as your kids get older, they get a lot more expensive, and I just thought the home-based business concept would be perfect. And I could do this while I'm still working full-time, and as I see it build and grow um, and making more money than what I was making full-time, I could then make the decision what I wanted to do. Sure. You, you got to try to gear yourself toward the future.